If you've ever wanted your stream chat to be able to control the chaos that happens on your stream, here's one of the ways that you can actually do that. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make any game chat controllable through the use of some software called Touch Portal. Now, I'm going to be showing use of the pro version of Touch Portal, which is $13 and then can be used on any device, but any program that can listen to Twitch chat or even YouTube chat, depending on how you have it set up, and then send virtual key presses will completely work for this demonstration. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to open up my Touch Portal here, and then I'm going to go down to events. And in events, this is actually where we're going to add our, well, first event. Go ahead up in the left hand corner, you're going to hit add event. In this particular event, we're going to make the walk forward command that chat can then use. Most games that we play usually use the keyboard press W to walk forward. So that's what I'm going to call this one is I'm just going to call this the W press just so that way I know, hey, that's what key is being hit. Now for the events, if you scroll down to you find Twitch, you can have this event trigger on a couple different actions on a new subscriber, which seems maybe a little silly for this demonstration, but if you had something very specific you wanted to happen in your game, you could have it on a new subscriber. Channel point redemptions on just a chat message, receiving certain bits on a host or on a raid. So let's say you're playing like a driving simulator game and you want to turn left when somebody donates like 100 bits. Here's how you could do it. I typically make mine free, so I'm just going to simply use the chat message event and then you can change this to whatever you would like it to be. On chat message event, you'll then see cooldown and Q lane. We'll touch those in a second. Down here though, you will see everyone subscriber, administrator, turbo, moderator, staff, broadcaster, VIP. These are people that can use the command that we're going to put over here in this tiny little right hand box here. So I want everybody to be able to use this. So I'm going to leave that checked. But if you only want subscribers to be able to use it, check subscribers. Maybe you want only your moderators to be able to use a certain command, like switching your scenes in OBS. Here's a way you could do that. Like I said, for me, I'm going to use everybody. And when Twitch chat sends a message that is equal to exclamation point, W. Exclamation point W is the command that I want my chat to use to move my character forward. And I want it to be only exclamation point W. So now that this is here, we need to create a flow of events that actually happens every time that this command is seen. So over on the left hand side, we're going to go down to input and we're going to be looking for the virtual key press. Once we've clicked that, a new dialog box will pop up. And in here, it's basically all the keys that you can press, well, virtually. So we're going to find the W key, which is right here, or you can just type it in on your keyboard. And now we can set the duration of the key press, I'm going to use 1000 milliseconds or one second for this demonstration. So that means that every time that exclamation point W is sent in chat, it'll hold the W key virtually for one full second. So that char your character will then move forward for one second. So once that's set up, I'm going to go ahead and hit add. And now we just have a key press W. Back up top to the two that I skipped earlier of cooldown and Q lane. If you don't want chat to be able to spam a certain action, go ahead and set a cooldown. So this, if I set this to 5000 milliseconds or five seconds. That means that no matter how many times people spam this key, it can only be activated once every five seconds. If you want extra chaos, set it to zero. For right now, to just demonstrate these, I'll set it to zero, but you might want to make that something that's not zero. For Q lanes, this is where if you want all the actions that are spammed to chat to be queued up to then run in order as they were received. So if 10 people spam exclamation point W all within a second of each other, and you have a cooldown of five seconds, that means every five seconds, it's going to slowly work its way through all 10 of those requests to move forward. If you want to do that, you can set this to a queue of zero to five. And these are just different lanes. So you can set a bunch of different events to different queues. If you want things to be some of them to trigger simultaneously, some of them to trigger one after another, you can set that up here. I'm not going to queue them because I want the extra chaos. Once you've established how much chaos you truly want, go ahead and hit save. To play a game, you need more than just simply a W press, but you can repeat those exact same steps to make, you know, ASD, spacebar for jump, control for crouch. You could look at the game that you're playing and see what type of keys that you need for chat to be able to control them or only make the keys that you want chat to be able to control. But now let's talk about the mouse for a second. Let's add another new event. And this one here, I'm going to call the left click. Underneath the event, once again, I'm going to use the on chat message event. And I'm going to set this to is equal to, and I'm going to call this one exclamation point bonk because we're going to be playing a game that has some melee aspects to it and I want everybody to be able to use it. So to talk about mouse clicks, there's an action underneath the inputs called mouse click. You can now see method, type of click, duration, and click location. So for method, go ahead and do use default. For type of click, I want this to be, well, the left click. For the duration, I want just 100 milliseconds because I just want a tap. And then for click location, if you have a specific location on your screen you want this to work on, you can type those coordinates in on your screen. I'm just going to simply have it use the 
the mouse position. So wherever this mouse is at, once the command bonk comes in, it will just automatically trigger the left click wherever the mouse is at. Go ahead and click add. And now you have a left click action. Then once that's done, go ahead and just repeat those actions for maybe a right click or a middle mouse click. However many different mouse clicks that you might need to play the game that you're playing. And here, let me show you an example of the type of chaos that can ensue when you let chat control your games. That way, towards that direction. Not, not, not the way you're trying to go to, yeah, yeah, you chat, there you go. No, no, guys, no, we're right there. Yeah, 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 right there. That's where we're trying to go. No, 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 guys, come on, please stop. No, 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 bad chat, bad chat, this way, this way, not this way, chat, no! So maybe Dark Souls isn't necessarily the best game that you can play with your chat, but I hope you see the point that we're driving home with this. You could use this for a racing game. Perhaps you want your chat to be able to influence your race of steering left or steering right or slamming the brakes or the e-brake on you. Maybe you want chat to be able to play like a Pokemon game. You could literally set it up just like this. This is actually what kind of inspired me to look at this was the actual, you know, Twitch plays Pokemon games back in the day. But I hope this helps inspire a little extra ideas and a little extra ways to help keep chat entertained and have fun with your community. So if you have any questions, please let me know down below. I'm happy to help out wherever I can with this as I love doing this type of stuff. And I'd also like to thank my Patreons, Evgeny and Cedric. Thank you again so much for continually being fantastic people. I really appreciate the both of you. And as always, everybody, I will see you all in the next one. Till then, take care. Love ya. Bye.